go ahead and let's add in some prefabs here. So we'll add in a folder. We'll call this prefabs. And we'll create a prefab. All right. And we'll call this the bullet. All right. And then what we'll also do is create another prefab. We'll call this the player. And yet another prefab. And then we'll call this one the enemy. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, for instance, if we drag out another white block here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my prefabs and I'm just going to drag this uh, white block here onto the bullet. And then we're going to obviously uh, scale this here, but we'll, we'll actually do the exact same thing for all of the above here. Now you'll see why we're doing this in just a moment here, but uh, the scale here uh, could be like uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1. What we can also do is make this a cool looking color. So it's probably best if we make it the same color as the player. So let's make the player kind of a, a bluish color uh, for now, or you can pick any color you want, but let's just make the color a blue color and let's pick our RGB values. Let's do 50, 100, 255. Okay, 50, 100, 255. All right, and so if we save it here, uh, and if you haven't saved it, by the way, let's do that right now. And uh, it should pop up with the game scene. And we're all we're here, we'll create a folder. We'll call this scenes, because you could have 10 scenes in a game, 20 scenes. You want to put those all in a folder here. Anyway, back to this here. You now see the blue is this color here. The enemy, let's make the enemy a color of kind of a red color, but more of a dark red. You don't want to use the standard red, this 25500 like this. It just looks boring, so just kind of move it down a bit. That works well. All right, and uh, that's looking pretty good here. And the player here. And I think the enemy, yeah, that's probably a good size uh, for now. But the player, uh, we can go and make that color. And if I remember correctly, it is 50, 100, and 255. Right, just like that here. And the size uh, looks pretty good. We can make the player the same size as the enemy, or we can make it a little bit smaller. It's up to you. You can always test that. But these are the things that game designers and game developers really uh, work on is all of those here. So we'll make the player slightly lower than the enemy. If the enemies are bigger. It kind of gives the sense of uh, kind of helplessness there. All right. So uh, what we need to do is we need to add in a few things to this bullet controller here. Uh, first and foremost, we need to, uh, for instance, add in uh, the bullet controller script. So let's add that in here and we'll say bullet controller. Uh, and the only other thing we need to add in is a box collider. And of course, we need box collider 2D, and we'll say is trigger here. Now, um, uh, for instance, we also need some physics materials here. Okay, so let's go and let's add in another folder. So create folder, and this folder is going to be material, or we'll call this physics. Okay, physics like this, and. What we'll do is uh, we need to create uh, a new physics material here, okay? Um, and uh, we just need to go and, and create uh, the physics uh, material 2D because, again, we are on uh, the physics material here. And uh, we'll call this enemy, and we'll just change the friction to zero. And we'll do the exact same thing again, physics material 2D, and we'll call this player. Here. Now, why are we adding this in here? Well, it's because if you look, go look at this prefab and we go to this uh, uh, bullet here, it's requiring a certain kind of material here, okay? And uh, in this case, we don't need a material, but in the other cases, we do need a material. So let's go to our enemy here and let's take a quick look at what we need. So first of all, we obviously need the enemy controller. Okay, not the enemy controller group, the enemy controller. But what we also need is a rigid body 2D. Okay, so we'll add the rigid body uh, 2D in here. And for the most part, if we look at, at these here, the only thing we need to add in is, is the is kinematic. And then we need to add another co component here, and we'll add in a box collider 2D. 
All right, and the box collider 2D, the only thing we need to do is you can see that there is a material is go to our materials and drag over the enemy material here. Now, if you want more complicated materials, you're more than welcome to add them in there. Let's go to our prefab here and let's go to our player and our player is is going to require again a couple of items here so first of all we clearly need the player controller and it's looking for a bullet prefab so let's drag in that bullet there and fits quite nicely and we'll also we also need a box collider 2d all right and we also need the trigger here So let's go ahead and let's drag some of these enemies out here, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste it. And I'm just going to, you know, kind of copy and paste this here again. And then, you know, maybe one more time. And you can see that all of this is in here. And we'll center everything up in just a moment here. And we might as add, well, add in one of these so just kind of move it down just a bit and just moving it around and yet one more all right and I'm just gonna kind of move all of these over here and kind of just center it for the most part yeah it's starting to look pretty good okay so all you can you can see that there's all these enemies in here and what I'm gonna do is um, create an empty here and uh, not underneath this enemy here. Uh, that is not something that uh, we're, we're looking to do. But if you kind of create an empty here and we can kind of get this, you know, kind of out here. All right. And we're going to call this enemy group. Okay. And what are we going to do with this enemy group? We're going to put all of the enemies into this enemy group. So not only does the enemy um, fit into a nice group in terms of editing, you can click this enemy group and you can now move them all around here. But as you can see, there is one that has been uh, uh, has been left behind and that looks pretty good. So you just kind of add that in here and look at that. They all move around uh, they all, they all essentially move around here. Now, we do have the enemy group here, but we need to also add in the enemy group controller, okay? And so what that does is that the enemy group controller will control this enemy group. Now, you can add this to any kind of group you wish, but we're going to go and just simply add that in here. Now, there's, there's a few other things uh, that we need to do. So let's create an empty and... And it's just, we don't want this in here. So I'm just going to kind of move this all the way down. And we're going to call this the canvas. All right. And so with the canvas, we need to, well, add some components here. And some components is going to be the canvas here. And we also need the canvas, um, we also need the canvas scaler here, just like that. All right, and within the canvas, uh, we need to do uh, screen space overlay, and uh, the target display is going to be equal uh, there. Now, uh, uh, what we can also do is add in a graphics raycaster, and uh, what this will do is that this will um, it will optimize the canvas here. All right, and within the canvas, we need two items here. We need, first of all, we need the text. So, if we um, if we add in uh, the text here, so game object, um, and uh, we need to go and create the text. And for instance. just need to add in the text here. So I'm going to create a UI text 
and you can see that the text is underneath the canvas there and uh, we'll call this one uh, the score text and we'll call this score and we'll kind of put this up to the top right corner ish just like that and we might need to to move this around here um, but um, if we kind of click on this uh, score here and double click on it it's way out there but if we run it you'll see that it's kind of in the middle so I'm just gonna actually move it kind of like this just like that and of course we're gonna say this is score and now we can make this something like 24 and we'll keep everything uh, for the moment here. Now what I'm also going to do is copy and paste this here and I'm going to call this game over. Okay, and we'll kind of move this kind of into the middle here and of course we'll call this game over. Now this is all going to uh, to change here and we can always go and, and uh, work with it here. So I'm just going to go back to this and I'm also going to create an empty and we don't want uh, that there, but we do want to create the empty outside. We're going to call this the game scene manager. And the main camera is going to go into the game scene manager, right? So we do need to put that in there. And of course, the game scene manager is going to need to do a couple things. It's going to, um, you know, if we type in game scene manager, we can add that in here. Now we're going to add in the main camera and then we're going to add in the score text. Okay. And you can see we add in the game over text, uh, the player, and I'm just going to kind of move a player onto the screen here. Okay. The main, uh, player here, if we go back to the game scene manager and I'm actually just going to move this all the way up to the top here, uh, just because, uh, well, it's, I'm kind of used to having the game scene manager all the way up to the top here. Uh, we're going to drag in the player here. And we're also going to drag in the enemy group, just like that here. All right, so uh, we're getting close, uh, close to this here. Now let's click on the bounds here, and you can see that there's many bounds. So let's create, um, uh, create an empty here, and we'll kind of move this, you know, kind of outside here, and we'll call this bounds, and we'll move the bounds in here. So that it just looks, well, you can see that it just looks a little bit better. Okay. So the bounds uh, within these here, we need to select all of these. And we do need to, to add in a couple of items here. We're going to add in a rigid body 2D. And this rigid body 2D is going to uh, be, uh, is kinematic here. And all of these other items are the same. But we're also going to add in a box collider. 2D as well. And within this uh, box collider, um, you can see that um, uh, that it does indeed, um, uh, it does indeed work here. Okay. So uh, we're getting very, uh, very much closer to, um, to completing this game. Let's go ahead and let's delete this white block here. And we just need to go back into our enemy group controller. And we want to make sure that this line here is minus equals. You want to make sure it's saved all. And let's take a look at this. Let's see if it does indeed work here. So, well, we can move left and right. That looks pretty good. All right, so we kind of need to uh, kind of need to move it over here, but you can see that you know the space invaders are going here, and you can see that well, yeah, look at that. Uh, it may be a bit fast, but you know, it's kind of cool. And maybe I'll just try and lose here. You can see that's kind of speeding up, and you know, we have this game over here. So there's a few things that we need to do. First of all, let's go back into our scene and let's move the uh, player or let's move this up just a bit so that we kind of have a block here. Let's move this to the right and then move this to the 
left here. And I think that should probably work out uh, pretty good. So let's just take a look. Yeah, so we don't want to necessarily be all the way over here, but we could probably still move these over just a bit more each side. And that's looking pretty good here. Now, if we go to our enemy group controller, uh, we might want to change that speed because it's, well, really fast. But you can go and tweak this uh, in whichever way you see fit. Let's go into the canvas here. Let's go to our, first of all, our score. And, you know, if we play it, well, it kind of looks, uh, actually, we, we fixed it now. The score does look pretty good. Uh, if we really wanted to, we could change the score and uh, to something else here. But uh, what we do need to do is, um, is if we go to our game scene uh, manager here, and we need to go to text, or um, in this case, it's score text dot enabled is equal to true, and game over text dot enabled is equal to false okay and so on the game over uh, for instance we need to uh, we need to say this here okay and um, uh, you can see that this is the opposite so let's save all if you haven't already done so and let's hop back into unity and let's take a quick look at how it's uh, how it's going there so yeah, looking good. And the score does work. I always like it when things work, okay? So perfect, perfect, perfect. And yeah, so that pretty much uh, concludes this game here. You can see that we've made a pretty good and nice little uh, Space Invaders game, all right? So uh, that concludes this tutorial.